My name is Lauren Dean, and I've been going to Faith Bridge for three years. After I graduated college, I moved to Russia for two years where I was working with college students and um, sharing the gospel. And it was a blast. It was like the time of my life. And then when I came back, I um, was in a relationship and that ended like five days after coming home. And I felt like I was at a really low spot. And I had like a panic attack one night. I was trying to sleep and it was like these thoughts were just like bombarding me of how am I going to make it? I was also starting to really feel more of the effects of anxiety, which I didn't I didn't even know was a thing. Um, I lost a ton of weight, and then my body started just like hurting constantly. It was really severe. It was um, like my whole body would ache. And uh, that that started becoming my new normal of just waking up and realizing like, okay, I'm already in pain. I already had all these negative thoughts um, about like myself and about my future. And then it would last all day long and I would like repeat this cycle. Nothing really seemed fun anymore. I wasn't the same. I couldn't laugh, I, I couldn't sleep. Um, and so my mom said, I think you need to call someone and I think you need to get help. And that was a really humbling moment for me um, to pick up the phone and call a psychiatrist and to like admit to myself that I needed help. My anxiety and depression had been going on for about a year and that just felt so defeating that I was still in the same place. And I just kind of would look in the mirror and think like, what has happened to me? This is like, this isn't me. I was putting on like a happy face for people and like trying really hard to um, lead when I knew that I was working out of a place of deficit with my depression and anxiety, kind of like leading a vacation Bible school and wondering like, I don't even experience like the fruit of the spirit that I'm talking about with these kids. I mean, I told my parents at one point like, I just need someone to know like, I don't wanna be here anymore because I'm in so much pain. And that scares me to say that, but I wanna be honest with you guys that I don't have a plan, but I just don't wanna be here. But God was so kind and he um, had me meet my husband, Matt. And Matt is the one who suggested that I get involved with discipleship. Those women were so transparent and they, they knew what it was like to feel depression and to be able to talk about it openly. Um, it was just like a huge relief. It was just an amazing um, introduction to the community, community that I was really longing for. We started going through the book Recovering Redemption by Matt Chandler. And in that book, um, Matt talks about all of us as humans are broken and how Jesus is offering us a way out, but we have to choose it. And I knew all of that growing up. I knew it like the back of my hand, but my eyes were open to realizing if I want my life to change, I have to say yes to what's being offered. Like that morning, like on the couch, reading through that Bible study, say like, God, I'm tired of like living this life where I'm not putting really any effort into a relationship with you. And I'm miserable, like I'm really miserable the way I am and I really want change. And I know that my story is, is different than some people. And I want to acknowledge that depression looks different for everyone. Um, but I know that my, my mindset was so focused on myself and I was so focused on all the negatives and all of the, the lies that I could no longer hear truth. And once I was able to see it for what it was, I was like a new person is what I felt like. The truth really did set me free. I just can't think of anything else but to say like, I'm grateful. Like I'm so thankful that I'm, that my life is so different, you know, it's like, it's, Sometimes like I don't even recognize myself as like a night and day. It hasn't always been easy. Um, ever since that time period, I still have problems and difficulties. Like relationships can be hard, work can be really hard, and yet it's so different than the way I used to approach it. Like I pray now, I'll say something like, Holy Spirit, I am about to give in to despair. Would you please help me and fill me with joy? Because I know that the power that I need to get out of a depression, depressing moment or out of um, 
envy, whatever it is I'm struggling with, I know that the power really lies in the Holy Spirit and not just like trying to find it somewhere in myself. I can fall back on and always remember and believe the truth that like God has been faithful in the past and He's going to be faithful again. I think that's why I love living now because every day it's like there's something to live for, like there's hope.